What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In this video, I'm going to simply show you how to request access to a Facebook business page and to a Facebook ad manager. And I'm going to tell you the difference. I'm going to walk you through the difference and really explain to you in detail um, why this is so important when you start running ads for, for clients. Um, so for those of you that are, that are a digital marketing agency or a freelancer, or you're, you're, you're just aspiring to, to get into the industry, this is the most important is, is knowing how to request access the right way. I get this time and time again in my comments on YouTube. So I'm going to kind of just um, do a real time live video. I got, I got my buddy on the line with me and we're going to just do a, a, a test run on how to request access to to a page and I'm going to I'm going to have him log into his ads manager which which this is his business manager right here and we're going to do a test run requesting access to my page okay and okay. and you guys will see exactly um, how to do this and so when I'm on the I'm on when I'm on when I'm on a call with a client with a potential client and we're going over all this I'm doing it on Zoom and I'm sharing my screen because visually walking the client through this and telling them what to click on is the most important. Okay, so again, we're playing the part where where he's the actual uh, agency and I am the client. Okay, so if he is all of a sudden going to start running Facebook ads for me, he needs access to my to my business page and or my ads manager, okay? And we're gonna do both of them, actually. We're gonna do both of them. And if you caught any of my previous videos, the only reason why I'll request access to just the business page, which I'm gonna show you right now how to do that part first, and then we'll do the ads manager. But the reason for the business page in the beginning is only if you're running one ad. Like with me, if you caught my videos here on YouTube, I start clients off 99% of the time with one ad and that's the like ad because 100% of Facebook business pages have 200 likes. So that's normally the first ad I'm helping clients with taking that 200 like count to 2200, right? That's normally the first ad. Normally that's the only ad that I'll run up front for somebody right now. So in that case, all I do is I request access to their business page and I run that ad from my ad account. So I only need access to the business page. I don't need the ad account right now. Um, and, and, and that's where I start them. Now, that's what I'm going to walk you guys through right now. We're going to walk you through just the business page. Now, after the like ad, when I take that client on as a monthly client, and now we're talking retainer, now we're talking, you know, them hiring me to run multiple ads and, and conversion ads and traffic ads. That's when I'll then request access to their ad account so I can start running these ads through their ad account and Facebook can start charging them. But most importantly, so they can start seeing the metrics and all the numbers, okay? That's when they'll be able to view everything because now I'm running everything through their account. No passwords needed. I run it through my end, but from their ad account. And again, you have to request access to the ad account to even do any of that. So I'm going to walk you through both steps, okay? Business page and the ads manager. So right. going on, let's do just the business page. Let's say you're, 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 I'm hiring you to run one single ad for me. Um, so all you need to do is, is, is request access to my page. So right at the top, you're going to click on the blue button. You're going to go request access to a page. And then you're going to simply, what I do to make it easy is I go to that business page on Facebook. I copy the URL and then I just come over back over to the business settings and, and paste what's the it business page. There. What's your URL? So, so mean, just uh, type in, type in my name. And then click on my name right in the, in the intro. Right here. Yep. Okay, so let's say, for example, and this is what I do when I'm online with a client, you guys, right? So I'm, I'm, we're sharing screens and, and I'm walking them through this. So I'll copy that link, right? That's my page. Um, you take that, you bring it back to the, um, to, the, to the settings right here, pages, paste it in, click on the dropdown. You always want to see the dropdown. If you don't see that dropdown, you didn't grab the right link, okay? Always make sure you see the dropdown. And what I do is I'll normally only go with, with create ads. If I'm only going to do one single ad, I'll just do create ads. You can go manage page and, and get full control. You can do that as well. But again, this is just what I do in the beginning. I'll start them off with one, one ad. I only need create ads. So go ahead and do that. Request access. So now here's what, here's what I tell the client. 
Okay, Mr. Business Owner, I just requested access. Can you now share your screen and I'll show you where to accept the request? Okay. Okay, Mr. So, Business Owner, can you share your screen? Yes. So go ahead and stop sharing your screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my screen and you're going to simply walk me through it, right? This is what I tell the client. Um, and so now we tell the client, okay, share your screen. And all you're going to do is you're going to go to your business page and on the left-hand side, I'll show you right over here. So as you click on your business page, you see it from the admin view right here. Over here on the left-hand side, you're going to click on settings. So this is what settings, I'm telling the yep. client, right? Mr. Business Owner, click on settings on the left-hand side. You're going to come over here to the left, scroll down, and you're going to click on page roles, okay? Click on page roles. And then right over here in the middle of the page, Mr. Business Owner, you're going to see inspired digital, okay? So you'll scroll down just a bit. And you'll see right here, and there goes your business, Royal Media Marketing, right? So this is what, what I'm telling the client, okay? And then I'm going to tell the client, okay, go ahead and respond to request. And this is going to come up right here. All you're going to do is click on continue, accept request, and then Facebook's going to ask you for your password. Always make sure they put in their password. If they do not, then you don't have, you don't have access to their page. So right there, I just gave him him wait, 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 wait. when i send app. you so i need your password or you need my password? no 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 this is my screen this is my password i put in my password you don't need to know nothing okay, okay. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. you're okay. telling the client hey share your screen click on settings click on page roles yep. you're going to see my name royal media marketing you're going to click on respond to request you're going to put in your password okay 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 right. so now okay. let's see what happens now so i stop share Go back to your, your business settings. Uh, should I share? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So now if you refresh this page, go ahead and refresh the page. So since I put in my password, I accepted a request. Now, as you refresh the page, now it says right there, permissions given. And the permissions given at the top, create ads, view page performance. That's it. So now what you want to do right away is you want to add people. So you're going to click on add people and you must add your name. Nope. Add people. Not the, not the ad, add people to the right. Uh -huh. So now you're going to click on your name right there. You're going to click on create ads because that's what, and you see it there darker, right? Those two are darker because that's what yep. you requested up front. You click assign and that's it. That's how you request access to a Facebook business page, which will give you the ability to run it through your ad account. You can run ads through your ad account, but from their business page. Okay. Now, okay, again, okay. this is only for, for, for one-time ads, right? Yep, for yep, one-time yep. ads. And in this case, it's a like ad, right? If it yep. was any other ad, if it was any other ad, I would not be doing it this way which we're going to now okay. do the, 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 the ad manager. And the reason why you are the ad account, I should say, those, those are the two things that you're requesting access to, one or the other or, or both or whatever. Um, okay. Now, again, the business page, requesting access to only the business page gives me the ability to run one ad. But the reason why I don't want to do any more than that is because, and now, so now as I move on my value ladder, for example, now, let, now let's say, okay, David, the like ad was a, was a success. Let's go out there and start running ads for leads. Perfect. And that's where I want the client, right? That's where I want them eventually. Now, now they're paying me to teach them and, and, and maybe they're paying me monthly to do it for them, whatever. But, but my point is now I want access to the ad account because every other ad that I run from this point on, I want that from data, data, hold up. I want that data to be stored in their account. So as we run traffic ads, all that data needs to be in their account. As we run video ads, all that data, the custom audiences need to be in their account. The custom conversions I need to set up in their account. The pixel comes from their account, right? So all of that comes as I request access to the ad account, but I didn't need any of that stuff up front because in the beginning, I only need your business page. I'm only running a like ad. So your pixel, custom conversions, audiences, none of that shit matters, right? None of that matters. I don't need none of that right now. But again, if, 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 if now we're moving on to the next level in my value ladder, for example, and, and now they're going to bring me on as a, as a consultant or a monthly you know, marketing agency for them, now, now we need to request access to the ad account, okay? So here's what you're going to do now. 
Now, what can happen here is you can either remove yourself right here. What we just did, we requested access to the business page. You can come over here and click remove or, or let me share my screen. Stop share. Or I can come over here to my screen and I can just remove you. Bam. Okay. okay. So I, and I even tell the client that all the time. I say, Mr. Client, once the like ad is over, you can come over here and simply click on remove, right? But what I do when I'm in my business settings, just like you, so go back to your, to your, to your screen, share screen. So I know when that like ad ends, for example, right? So once it ends, I come over here and I, and I just remove myself because I don't need to be, I don't need to be a part of any of these pages. If I'm only going to run one ad and I'm not going to continue, no big deal. I just remove myself. I'll do it before they even do it. Right. So, so. That's just that, that way I have my, 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 my stuff clean over here. I don't want, you know, 37 pages. I don't want to be connected to all of them at all, especially if I'm not doing business with them anymore. Right. Um, yes. So, so refresh this page, go ahead and refresh it. And you'll see my, my page there. You'll see it gone. Go ahead and refresh it. So okay. now it's gone. Okay. That's requesting access to a business page. Okay. So now let's say, cause Boyan, what he wants to do is he wants to freaking start turning people into Facebook ad ninjas. So he wants to start teaching them how to run ads or, or, or maybe start doing it for them monthly. Right. So now you're going to request access to my ad account. Okay. So let's do that. Let's click on ad account. So now we're shifting gears. We're going to go request access to an ad account and that's it right there. So request access to an ad account. Now what I normally do is I normally do number two, is I'll do, you could type your ad account. I type, um, I do follow these steps to request access to an ad account. Contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner. Number three, give to give you access, they'll need to enter the number below and choose a role. So that's what I normally do. I do number two. I do the, 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 the one, two, three steps. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to copy that number right there and send it to me in the chat. Go ahead and copy that number. Send it to me here in the chat. Okay, so now I have this. Um, um, where did your where did your chat go? Let me go. Okay, here we go. So now I got your ID number. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to copy your ID number, and then I'm going to come over here to my business manager to the back end over here. I'm going to click on Add Accounts, and I'm going to click on Add. And then I'm going to simply, um, um, actually, you know what, my bad. I'm on ad accounts right here. And then over here to the middle, I'm going to assign a partner. Okay. So I'm going to assign a partner. And then it says business ID or get link to share. I'm going to click on the blue one, business mm -hmm. ID. I'm going to simply paste in that number. And I'm going to give you access. I'm going to just give you full control. I'm going to give you full control. Or I can have you manage only my campaigns, view performance, whatever. But just at this point, when you're this far down the line and that client is going to hire you to do all this shit for them, full control, right? No, no more questions asked, like full control. So now I'm going to hit next. And now I click on done. So now as I refresh my page, let me go ahead and refresh my page. Now, as I, as I, as I refresh my page, I'll be able to come over here. Click on add accounts to the left, click on partners, and there goes my partner right there. So now yeah. go ahead and, and, and when I, if I want to remove you, I can just hit the trash can and remove you. So when you have, and I have access to your ad account, I have access to everything, right? I don't need access yeah, so to Yes, so now your, I'm going to uh, show you what's account. going on now. Now I'm going to show you what's going on. So now go ahead and share your screen. Okay, so now if you hit cancel, go ahead and cancel out of this. Okay, so now as you come back to your page, you refresh it and boom, there you see it right there, Inspired Digital. Don't click on it, but you have it right there, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, now you have access to my ad account. Now you have my pixel. You can set up custom audiences. You can set up custom conversions. All that through that ad account. Now, if you click on the three lines to the at the top there and go to the ads manager, go ahead and click on that, go to the ads manager. Okay, okay, so 
So now, now you refresh the page, you see Inspired Digital. Now what's super, super important is you must click on it, which you just did, Inspired Digital, and then you must add people. So go ahead and add your name. Here or here. Yep, either one, add people. So you'll see it over here, your name, click on that, and then, and then full control, full control. You see all of them dark, they're all dark. So full control, done, that's it. So now, now you're, a you're tied to my ad account. So all you gotta do is now click three lines at the top and then go to ads manager. And so now as you go and run that ad, so now as you come over here to the ads manager, that drop down right at the top, boom, you click that, that is the client's ad account. Now you can see all of their freaking ads and that's when you just kind of take their shit to the next level. You know, now, now you can run all the ads through their account. They see everything and, 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 and that's how you do it, man. So two ways to request access. You're either requesting access to a business page or you're requesting access to an ad account. All right, guys. So that's how you do it. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is David. This is my buddy Boyan running Facebook ads, building an agency, getting clients um, on social media marketing services and all the above. So if you're into this type of stuff, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.